Okay, good morning. We are doing the interplanet. We're going to do Earth and Mercury today. Uh, page 84 of your science book. Um, no homework questions tonight. Okay. Um, so we're going to start off. It talks about where else could you find planets whose atmosphere has almost entirely leaked away into space? How about a planet whose surface is hot enough to melt lead? How about a planet with volcanoes higher than any found on Earth? Okay. Finally, where could you find a planet with oceans of water brimming with fish and other life? And what they're talking about is the four interplanets. Okay. Um, and then these are the, the interplanets, of course, are the ones closest to the sun. Okay, they're the inner planet. Then you've got an asteroid belt, and then you've got the outer planets. Okay, that's the gas planets. Okay? But Earth and three other inner planets, Mercury, Venus, and Mars, are very similar to each other uh, in the fact that they're um, more so than the, in this set, this book says five outer planets, which kind of shows how old this book is. Uh, uh, the four inner planets are small, they're dense, and they have rocky surfaces. Okay? The inner planets are often called the terrestrial planets. Okay? And that comes from the Latin word terra, which means earth. Okay? Uh, then you kind of see up here in, at the top of page 85, it's got a breakdown. Uh, you see Mercury, Mercury is really very small. Uh, Mercury is about the size of our moon, of Earth's moon, actually. It's a very small planet. But it takes 59 Earth days for it to make one revolution or revolve on its axis. 59 Earth days. So it's very okay? fast. But it only takes it 88 days to circle the sun. So its year is only 88 days long, but its day is 59 Earth days long. Isn't that weird? So there, that's a fast one. Yeah. So it's like it, two it, days. It, it is booking, but also the orbit around the sun is a lot smaller. Because it's, yeah, because it's closer. It's, it's like closer. a track meet. Okay. Like All right, now Venus, Venus is almost as big as Earth, not quite. It takes Venus 116 days and 18 hours, Earth days. To go around one time on its axis. Okay, this year is 225 days long. It takes it 225 Earth days to go around the sun. Okay, and of course Earth, well, we, we, we go on our axis every 24 hours and 365 days to make a complete revolution around the sun. Then you got Mars. Mars is a medium-sized planet. It's bigger than Mercury, not as big as uh, Venus and Earth. Uh, about half, a little bit more than half the size of Earth. Um, Mars, it only, the day on Mars is 24 hours and 37 minutes. So a little okay? more than So it's just a little bit longer, so it, it's pretty much right in line with Earth. Its year, though, because it's, it's further out than Earth, its year, it takes its 600 and 87 days to make one revolution. That's like two years for us. Almost two years. Uh, okay, so you'd have a birthday about every two years or so. That'd be horrible. Or you would stay young for a long time. <laughs> well, it's harder more your age than my age. That would be like, wow, okay. okay. Um, a little bit different. Okay? So, Earth. As you can see over in the picture on page 85, the bottom one there, it breaks Earth down into, uh, you've got the inner core and the outer core, uh, and then you've got the mantle, and you've got the crust, okay? Um, and they actually, uh, in the last couple of years, they've discovered that the inner core actually has another core inside of it, and I always get amazed at science because they will come up with all these really hard names to pronounce some things, to name something, so when they discovered that, you know what they called it? The core. The inner inner core. <laughs> the inner I'm like, bag, blame it. Now that that's a that's a that took some scientific thinking right there, you know. But they made it. They kept it simple. Okay. So Earth has three main layers. 
Okay, it has the crust, the mantle, and a core. Okay, the crust is includes the solid, rocky uh, surface, which we consider land. Under the crust is the mantle. Okay, and that's a layer of hot, molten rock. That's where the volcanoes and all that stuff, you know, causes it causes the plate tectonic, you know, the, the, all the plates to move and all that stuff because we're actually floating on top of that stuff. Um, and then Earth has a very dense core. Let's not do that during class, okay? Earth has a dense core made of mainly iron and nickel. The outer core is liquid, but the inner core is solid. Okay, it is very solid. In fact, we, talk, we talked about yesterday the core is actually, the, uh, the inner core is actually um, hotter than the surface of the sun. Okay, it runs about 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm sorry, 10 million degrees Fahrenheit. So that's pretty hot. Yes? Um, has anyone ever penetrated the crust? I no, doubt it. But, no. yeah. We can't. A uh, man cannot get down through the crust, even with all of our modern technology and, and our, our, all of our uh, 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 drill bits, I guess, if you would, titanium, all that, uh, the pressure is so great that it, uh, when you get down so far, it crushes them. Like under the sea? Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah just like them getting down, if you get deep enough in the ocean, the pressure is so so great that you can't, mm -hmm. you can't survive just mm -hmm. you going down. Yeah, but isn't in the ocean the pressure greater? I don't know why, but... Even if you go 80 gallons in the water, like in well, the pressure is deep. I mean, it's hard because you you are you, yeah because you're not protected. So yeah, if you dive into a 12 foot pool, you hit 12 feet deep, and your ear starts to ache, and yeah, you you feel the pressure. It's like yes. Uh, two questions. So the crust is that like at the bottom of the crust? Is that like the bottom of the sea floor? Well, that is the crust. Yeah, the crust is the seafloor also. But that, that's like nothing compared to like the other rest of it. Oh, it's nothing. Yeah, our the, the, crust, even for as, for as thick as it is, it's nothing compared to the, the, the size of yeah. the earth. Yeah, and then the other thing was, uh, what was I going to say? Did you think of, did you think of, yes, Braxton? I have two questions. How many planets are um, going to, like, um, color? All of them? Do we? Okay. And can I ask about Y'all realize we're filming, we're, we're filming a class, and I've got people have to blow their nose, go to the bathroom, just want to talk about whatever. Don't you wish you were here? Don't you miss this? I mean, come on, you miss this. Let's face it. Okay. Yes, Spears. Oh, I. This, this is never going to happen. But if you. Like, then why are you asking? <laughs> because if I'm, it's never going to happen, why are you wasting my time in asking? Because I need to know the answer. Okay, go ahead. If you got to the bottom of the Mariana Trench without being crushed, without Okay, he's giving me the look. Like, show them the look. Show them the look you're giving me. He wants to know if, if we can survive, what would happen if we make it to the bottom of the Mariana Crest, which is the deepest start, part on Earth, by the way. And start digging yeah, down. Yeah, and start digging down. Like, I mean, if you can go, if you can go you make my head hurt. <laughs> the water makes my ears hurt. <laughs> yes. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, what, uh, is, is the mantle or the bottom layer of the crust, is that protecting us from the heat of the core? Yes. Yes. I mean, I mean, the mantle is where all the lava and stuff is. Yeah, because... All the continents actually sits on these, what they call the continental plates, uh -huh. and they're actually floating on top of all of that hot liquid. Well, isn't that terrifying? Okay. They actually floats. Wait, it's not stationary. Is that why, uh, we will get into plate tectonics later. Yeah, that's why. We will get into plate tectonics later. 
Right now we're going to finish up what we started for Didn't this like class. Didn't like the continents, didn't they used to be like uh, yes. one big yes. Yes. halo? Yes. Yes. yes, they did. Yes, they did. And if you look at a map, it, it all goes together almost like a jigsaw puzzle. It really does. Okay. All right. Earth is unique in our solar system having liquid water at its surface. In fact, most of our surface is about 70% water, okay? Perhaps our planet should be called water instead of earth. Oh, they threw in a joke, okay? Earth has a suitable temperature range for water to exist as liquid, gas, or solid. Water is important in, sh in shaping Earth's surface, wearing it down, and changing its appearance over time. What do we call that when water washes away, it rocks, I mean, it will wear rocks down, it will take sand at the beach out. What do you call that? Starts with an E. Erosion. It's erosion. Okay. Atmosphere has enough gravity to hold on to most gases, and these gases make up Earth's atmosphere, which extends to more than 100 kilometers above the surface. Other planets in the solar system have atmospheres too, but only Earth's atmosphere is rich in oxygen. Oxygen makes up about 20% of our atmosphere. Anybody know what the other primary part is? Oh, oh wait. Start with Nitrogen. 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 Oh. Okay, nitrogen. All right, and then it has small amounts of other things like carbon dioxide, argon, things like that. Uh, but very, very trace, you know, very small traces of these. Uh, the atmosphere also includes various amounts of water in the form of gas. Uh, and water in a gaseous form is called water vapor, okay? Uh, then we move over to Mercury. And of course, Mercury is indeed the smallest terrestrial planet. Uh, it's closest to the sun. Uh, it's not much larger than the Earth's moon. Uh, and the interior of Mercury is mainly a, a real dense metals, okay? Uh, because Mercury is so close to the sun, it's hard to see from Earth. Uh, but what they do know about Mercury came from, uh, they sent up a probe, uh, Mariner 10, uh, 74, 75, and in 2009, they sent up another one called the Messenger, and it also got pictures and, and, and took samples. Now, it's a probe, so it, got, it was able to get... Um, kind of analyze the atmosphere and all that stuff of um, Mercury. Um, and it took photos, shows that Mercury has many flat plains and craters on its surface. The large number of craters shows that Mercury's surface has changed very little over, over uh, the years. And this book says billions of years. Uh, many of Mercury's craters have been named for artists, writers, and musicians, such as uh, the composer Bach and uh, Mozart. Okay? Uh, Mercury has virtually no atmosphere. Uh, it's daytime high temperature because of the gas particles moving so fast. Uh, the gravity is real weak there. Uh, and the, the daytime temperatures can get up to 430 degrees Celsius, okay? But then, because of, it doesn't have an atmosphere, all of that escapes, and it drops to about a, a negative 170 degrees Celsius at night. That's a serious swing, 430 degrees Celsius to negative 170 degrees Celsius just in a matter of a few Hours, days, whatever. He's in yeah. Mercury 52 days. So that's pretty. That's pretty cool. That's a, that's a pretty cool. Ha ha. Okay. Anyhow, so that kind of gives you an idea. Okay. We're now going to watch two videos, and I will, of course, include the link to you guys.